Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll see a problem in binary search tree where we would like to print all the element in a pre-order function. So pre-order function uh, means the logic is that first we print the as soon as we hit the root node first we print that value. So that is pre-order. Then we go the left and then we go right. Right. So this is uh, this would be our logic. So like if we start from 8 which is our root node so as soon as you hit the root node first print the value so it has print the value now go the left so again recursively it is calling so again it has hit the 3 so it will call 3 and it will go left now it has hit the 1 so it will print 1 and then it will go left so as soon as you hit the null value simply return that right so when you return this value because you have already covered this node so it will go right so as so now it has hit the 6 so it will print 6 then it will go left again it will print 4 so as the right left or right are both null so it will recursively call 7 it will print 7 that's it now it has covered all the section of left side including the itself also so now it will go right so as soon as it, it hit the 10 it will print 10 left is null so it will go 14 it will print 14 and then it will go 13 and it will print 13 right so that is so this is pre-order pre-order uh, printing of the elements in binary search tree right and now we'll see how we can uh, use this how we can create this by using java so okay let me put it here so that we can see okay so now I will write a function here uh, pre-order a dot pre-order and here I will pass the root because that's what I want to print and here I will write a function so guys if you want to see how we can create the uh, binary search tree or how we can insert the values so for that you can see my first video or other videos so that you can fully know but for this tutorial we are focusing only on the pre-order printing we are making it void because we are not returning anything we are just printing the values right so you say that if not equals to equals to null then you will simply return else first you will print the value which is coming here so not the data and then you can recursively go to left first and then you can go to right right so that will be your logic and that's it it will solve your problem so we'll see that whether it is working fine or not using debug okay now go the function so here our root is 8 right which is this one so first it will print the value which is 8 now it will go left so left is 3 now so again it will print the value 3 right that's it and again it will go left so now it will print 1 so it has printed 1 and then it will go again left so now left is null right so it will return now it will go right which is again null so it will return so, and now we have reached till 3 now it will go right which is 6 so it will first print 6 so as you can see it is printing 6 and again it will go uh, first it will go left so it will print 4 so it has printed 4 right and then it will go again null which is uh, null so it will go right which is null again it will call recursively the 7 so it will go as 7 and it will print 7 right so this is a way how it is printing you can see all the values right now it is printing 10 and similarly it will print 14 first then it will print 13 right so that is how uh, we have printed the functions in a pre-order manner and once it has printed the all the values so it will go out of the loop right so that's it 
so that is how we have printed the values in a pre-order and uh, in next tutorial we will see how we can print the values in a post-order manner so that's it guys for this tutorial thanks for watching the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos in bst thank you